Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Zed Mentor. So today we are going to be doing one more class which is um, a flyer design in Adobe Illustrator and we are going to do the mock-up in the next part. So let's start. So first we'll um, go to Google again and now we will search flyer size on the internet. So let's search and a flyer size is 8.5 by 11 inches. Okay, let's go back to Illustrator, create new. And this time we will go to inches from here, pixels. You can select. I already told you in the first class. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. So we'll go to inches. We'll select 11.5. 8.5, sorry. 8.5 by 11 inches. How, that's how you do it. And the orientation will be on portrait. So because this is a flyer, so let's start, let's hit create. So now it's loaded up. So now we will go to um, Pinterest. So you'll search Pinterest. Now you will open it. Now you will search flyer design. And I've already told you why are we copying other design because we are not capable enough for making it. Or you can just take ideas and try to make it uh, uh, great by your own. So right now we will take this image and let's copy it. Or let's, let's just find some good image from here. Let's get this image. So now let's go to Illustrator. Control V8 and bring it up with Shift. Remember that. And remember we just need to design nothing else. Let me make it bigger. I think that's enough. Put it on the side now. So now you have to use your pen tool to do it again. But first, we have to uh, every time we have to uh, um, put in rectangle. So now we will press I and select this color as this is the background color. And now we will only uh, work on the minor designs. So first, we'll select the pen tool and start from here. Let's create this really line from here. Like this. And uh, be precise with this. It will look much better. So I'm done with this. So after this, let me just place this over here and use the same color I. Press I for our eyedropper tool and press this color. And now you can place it properly. And to, if you want to place it precisely, you can press the arrows key. Like this, if you really want to do some very minor mistakes, if you want to correct it for placing, you can correct it with this. After it's done, you can do the second shape using the pen tool, and P is the shortcut for pen tool. Like this. And remember, you have to invert this so that you can see properly what are, what are you're drawing. So next, you have to pick this up and put it back where it needs to be. Now you can just select the eyedropper tool and do the same thing. And now you can do the next design, which is going to be the circle, which we can do it with uh, the shape tool. And remember, for some shape, you can also use the shape tool to make it to make your job easier instead of using the pen tool because it won't be precise. So you can just keep it here. For this design, we'll do it after. We're just doing the minor designs. So now we can do the next one from here this and remember invert it again now you can go back and you can see there are some mistakes and that it's not proper but we can fix that later using the sh uh, the smooth tool which i'll show you today then you can just do eyedropper tool and do the same thing again so now next thing you have to add the text again we can just use the shape tool for that square put the point there and drag it that's enough Yes, so that's done over here, and it should not be the, uh, like everything should not be the same. It can be different, but it should look good. So this is uh, all done, so we can just keep this right here and let's let's all draw the the small small mistakes we did. Right now we have to we didn't also make this one. Let's make it this 
and you can just click on this again and from here you can do it again like this so this should go right here and you have to move this a bit front so now you have to join this together so you can just do this group this group now so now you can add a picture here but before that we have to fix this this should be all white let's make it white actually you don't need to do it you can just add a picture here so now you have to add a text which you can just add from here the t for text tool you can see t letter t for text tool now you can write flyer design and now you can just make it bigger and you can add it here double click in the middle so that you can make it like this enter it so that it comes like this and now you can just make it smaller well remember you have to press shift for everything you decrease and increase the size and you can add uh, a color for white this and it's done so now you can add a logo which i will just make it here or you can just pick it up from your files i'm picking up my logo So here I've got the logo. So let's embed it first and make it smaller using shift and the same command, shift and alt. And now you can place it wherever you like it. And remember, please subscribe to our channel. So next you have to work on the texts. So you can just use, use dummy text from here, dummy text, and from here to dummy text. That's all. You don't need to do too much work on this because that's when you are making for a client, then you have to add their information, but we don't have one, so we just use our information and just make it black again. And we have to double click on this area to change the color. And we can also change the text font from here. We select the text and go over here and change it to. You don't have to change the, the minor pro from here. So go down. And change the fonts like the uh, design okay don't change the font itself change the design so we can just do this and this one you have to also make it bold you can just add just select everything and add flyer design for this too and now you can just make it bigger From here, that's enough. Now you can make this bold too by selecting this and going over here and make it semi bold again. Same thing, that's it. And now you have to add an image. We can add, I'll just show you the image. So I've got the image back again. So let's embed it again. And I'm going to add this image. And press shift again remember that and press this and press this one and click on this and control seven it but this one should uh, but this image has to be down that's why it was showing me that error so press shift control shift and then that brackets and press it once more again to bring it up like that so i've here i've uh, added control seven and now i can add the rest of the design so just use the pen tool and do it from here again i have to draw it because it was showing me an error so let's do it again and now add it so right here first i have to change the color because i can't see it let's make it white like them it does not need to be perfect but it should be like this and now let's make it bring it in front and it can be like this like this and make it bigger a little bit that's it to so fit it so now you can just select this and press I and just add a brownish color to so match it. Now it's your uh, this thing is done. Your flyer is done. Now let's make it bigger because it's very small. By using shift, make it bigger. That's it. That's how you make a flyer. And you can add all your dummy text over here again. 
press this and press alt so that you can copy this again press this press alt again like this and press the both of these and add a white color so you can see it better like this as you can see the same thing you can add a barcode here but i don't i don't really want to add a barcode so i'm just going to add my own logo here so that's it that's how you make your own flyer so i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe bye